So, exactly what was all that about? I tried to record the entire story in the store, but in, uh, in a mask and in all the noise, it was difficult. I did want to show you some things, though. When Jesus spoke with people, he spoke in terms that they understood. If he were speaking to fishermen, he'd talk about fishing. If he were speaking to farmers, he would talk about crops and growing things. So, I wanted to speak your language this morning as an example, like Jesus gives in today's passage of Scripture. And the things that you understand are parties. At some point, it will be safe for us to come back to Central Park, and we want to celebrate and have a party. So I'm looking around for things, trying to make some decisions on what we should eat, what we should uh, decorate with, what we should eat, should there be a pinata, what we should eat, should there be music, what we should eat, should there be games, and, well, what we should eat. And I not only consider what we should eat and, and the things that make up a party, I need to consider what it cost. So as you, as you viewed the video, you saw not only food, but you saw the price tag below it. Jesus gives a similar example in today's lesson. Coming from Matthew chapter 8 and chapter 16, from Luke chapter 9 and chapter 14. They're not very long chapters, so uh, you could read the entire chapters, but let me summarize it for you. Large crowds traveled with Jesus. Many people wanted to follow him. One man said, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. But Jesus told the man, Foxes have dens, and the birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. I think Jesus might have been saying he was homeless. Another disciple said, Lord, I will follow you, but first let me go and bury my father. And Jesus replied, follow me and let the dead bury their own dead. That's kind of an odd thing to say. Jesus told the people that following him would not be easy. It would come at a cost. And they had to consider what that cost would be. Anyone, Jesus said, who comes to me must be willing to leave his family. You must love me most of all, more than your own life. Anyone who is unwilling to suffer cannot be my disciple. Jesus urged the people to think about what they were doing. He told them a story. If you wanted to build a tower... You would first sit down and figure out what it would take to complete the tower, and then you would have to determine what the cost would be. Otherwise, you would build the foundation and be unable to finish. People would laugh at you. In terms that we can understand, you must determine the cost of the party. Otherwise, you might have music and games, but not have any food. Then he told them another story. If you were a king, you wouldn't go to war against another king without considering whether your army would be great enough to win the war. If you have too few men to fight, you would send some men and ask for peace before the battle even started. Jesus wanted the people to consider the cost. If you're not willing to give up everything you have and follow me, Jesus said, you can't follow me. Following Jesus means giving him everything we have. He's in control of your life, not you. You don't decide what you're going to do. Jesus decides what you're going to do. And Jesus said, whoever gives up his life for me will find true life. What good is it to have everything you want in the world if you give up life with God forever? Consider the cost, and I promise you, it's worth it.